Hey guys and welcome to this uh, flight simulator video we've got today. So today's video it's basically going to be talking about the game. Uh, the stuff that we've been receiving over the last few months in terms of marketplace, um, how the game runs. Uh, you've probably seen quite a few uh, fellow flight sim YouTubers doing something like this but I think it's time that I voice my opinions as well. Um, long story short this game is trash uh, i used to enjoy uh playing flight sims so much but it just seems as if uh, microsoft are just refusing to put out good content for us uh, i don't know if they're just fully focused on flight sim 2024 but the content we get in the marketplace the last few months have been um atrocious uh, let's just start with that i'm for example, the PMDG Boeing 737. Now, a lot of us thought that we'd be getting livery packs uh, for free, uh, along with the aircraft itself, like many other aircrafts uh, have been released. But as you can see here, each pack, um, 10 liveries. I mean, this one has got three bloody Ryanair liveries in the same pack. I don't know what they're doing there. And each of these packs costs £4.19. And now, this is volume 5 so they've already released 5 um, livery packs and I've probably only bought 1 or 2 um, mainly because I just didn't want to fly the plane with its stock uh, PMG liver PMDG livery but I just think it's, a, it's ridiculous what they're doing I mean they've told us before that they plan to release uh, liveries for not for free but at a reasonable price but having released what 20 odd liveries right now in five different packs at four pounds 19 each it's just getting it's just getting ridiculous honestly i mean not everyone's made on money and a lot of aircrafts i've seen have released extra liveries as part of a free update i'm not sure why they don't do that either that's just one of the things that is it's a bit frustrating and as you can see here throughout the new releases and the trending a lot of these marketplace updates are honestly horrendous I mean, here in London, I usually won't wait up until 11, 12 p.m. No, 11 p.m. slash 12 a.m. to see what it's get, what is getting released in the marketplace. But it's just, honestly, there's no point. You, you, we're just getting um, scenery updates, more airports, airports that people don't even use. I mean, what's the point? Why do they release this sort of crap? It's just getting frustrating. And now. As you can see here my on my content manager I've got updates that I can't even install. I mean they're quite big, three, four gigs. And when you when I click install and when I wait good uh, 20, 25 minutes, right? It just doesn't install, it just comes back as what you're seeing here. There's just so many things wrong with this game and it's just it just doesn't make it fun to, to play anymore. I mean a lot of these aircrafts don't even work. Whatever they did with the Boeing 787, I don't even know. It's it the plane's broken, let's just put it like that. I, I did a flight uh, prior to recording this video. The autopilot didn't work, the plane just keeps banking upwards so you can't really control it much and then when it's time to land, it, again, the plane is just horrendous to fly. And that used to be one of my favourite planes to fly on this game so something needs to happen with this, honestly. I mean, every single time we see they have around 80 aircrafts in development on their uh, marketplace blog. but that's been the case for like the good last two three months it's like they just don't want to release anything if you get these city updates i mean who gives a crap about those honestly it's just it's just so frustrating to to play and i know i'm not the only one there are tons of other youtubers that feel the same again i don't know if it's because they're just putting main focus on 2024 or whether they're just given up but it's it's just so frustrating i mean i can't even play the game anymore without encountering ctds or just frame drops or, or just the plane just doesn't want to fly i mean that's the case half the time and we've had these aircrafts the same aircrafts for god knows how long it's, it's about time that we get something new i mean i know aerosoft uh in the process of making the a330 um they said for a end of summer timeline we're in september now so i don't know where that is i'm hoping it gets released soon but at the end of the day as long as it doesn't have any bugs then just take your time but not that long if you get what i mean 
it's just so annoying playing this game there's so many issues wrong with it just, honestly it just gets frustrating talking about it uh, I mean there's nothing else we can do unfortunately we've just gotta play the game uh, live with all these issues I mean I'm trying to get out flights every other day but it's just taking time uh, I, hopefully you continue to watch my videos or whenever I do get them out it just takes time uh, based on the stupid game but yeah Th thanks for watching this mini run. I uh, hope you subscribe and yeah, have a great evening.